Hello. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a chart using SRS. And uh, this is a basic chart that I'm going to show you guys how to build it. And uh, we can do some uh, modification on it and uh, to uh, make it a good look. So I have a database here called uh, Store. And I will going to use the chart here simply drag and drop the chart and you can uh, choose any chart from uh, these uh, selections you have column chart line chart pie chart let's use the column chart here and this will make it wider and I will start first here to <clears throat> drag and drop the name the product name here and uh, the quantity I need it here and let's preview it let's see how it looks it looks like this uh, we need to do like uh, I see here the numbers it's they are uh, not like really uh, organized so I would like to organize it by go here and uh, right click and go to vertical access properties and here where you can determine uh, you will start from let's say from zero all the way to let's say 700 and here where it's uh, you want it to like uh, increased by so I needed to increase by 20 at a time so it'll be more specific and detailed uh, this is what I have right now you can make it to increase by if you see this is a huge uh, start this is almost 220 so I will make it go back here and make it every like increase by 100 all right uh, something else uh, here I can make on uh, the horizontal axis names here uh, we can make it like a, a little bit uh, goes to uh, like a right the change the angle of my uh, names so if you guys watching here the angle of the name the product name it's start to be changed you can make it just like this okay and um, another thing is let's change the chart no not like this if I want to change the chart type you can select any uh, of these charts while you are build it and something else I would like to see here the amount of the count on each product so you can go to the columns and right click and say show data label see I see now my data label on each and this is the names um, what else we can do if you want to sort you know I want to sort my uh, horizontal axis here so you can go to category uh, groups then right click go to the category and sort it from Z to A okay and let's see this is start from Z, uh, Z to A and uh, if I want to filter it if I want to go to filter it add a filter here where I'll say the product name equal to mobile one of the products products called mobile so I want to see only mobile uh, product here something wrong let me go back check the filter hmm. 
That's still wrong. I see something wrong here. <clears throat> the product name. Is a mobile wrong? Let me just delete it. And this is the sort name. Let me delete the sort name as well. This says the product name like oops PC see I now uh, filtered my uh, uh, chart which I am seeing only the PC and let me go back and delete the filter so we know now how to uh, filter and sort my chart uh, something a nice feature here I can add to uh, my chart which is I will determine the color whether the color if it's like more than like 500 it will be red if it's less than 500 it will be let's say it's a green so you can go to the fill right here I just right click and went to this uh, series properties go to fill right here and go to properties and here you can say if if I have the quantity if quantity sorry less than 500 then I needed a green else I needed red okay close the parentheses press ok press ok let's go here see guys everything that's less than the 500 it will be uh, green and other than that it will be uh, red so this is how we are build the chart and here uh, add the name of your chart like it says here my chart my chart or like uh, yeah and here like we say pro product name and here uh, the quantity so you will label it just like this and sorry the quantity is wrong man sorry guys I'm just like let's see Q Quantity. Uh, what else? This is what I have uh, today for the chart. Uh, this is how you build your uh, basic chart. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching my video and see you for next videos. Thank you.